Oh, hi, mud lovers. How you doing? As you can see, I'm with Jules and I'm with Vix. First time mud larking today, so I'm expecting her to have some real luck in the mud. Right, we're mud larking, which means we're looking for anything old and interesting on the foreshore. Or well, the River Thames when the tide goes out. What do you find today then, Jules? Bit well, of pottery? Bit, bit of pottery? anything. Bit of anything. We'll have a go. That's it. Anything's good here, yeah, so good. let's get some luck in the mud. Have something coming out of the mud. Oh, it's unusual. <laughs> Don't know what that is. I think it's complete. Oh, is that a swan? Stylized swan ornament. You like an ornament? <laughs> Beautiful, eh? Look at that. Cool. I'll clean it up and see if there's any detail on it. So this beautiful mystery little thing is quite an oddity. It looks like feathers from a bird or swan, but there's no head visible. I like to think it's two loving birds with their heads nestled in each other's wings. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Oh look, just seen a pipe in the mud, eroding out. Let's see if we can eat. It's probably just gonna be the bowl. Oh, I'm saying that. Let's uh, take that bit of wood away. Now this piece of bullshit is really hard to pack. Oh, there we go, it's out. There we go. Beautiful clay pipe. A bit later, probably like early 20th century. I like that. Good start. Oh, what you got over there? Little medicine bottle or something. We're going to have it out there. There's another bottle underneath that as yeah, well. Yeah, there is, yeah. It's definitely a dump here, isn't it? Time to meet your heart out. Medicine of some sort. Yeah, very cool. There's another one there, like I said, but a bit of one, bit of an ink. Oh, yeah. There you go. Mix his. Bottle needs cleaning. Mix his first yeah. ever mudlarking find is a little bottle. Well done. Hurrah! There you go. <laughs> well, look, I just found this bottle. It's got the cork in still. God, it's just about coming out. Yeah, Jules, you want to drink the contents of that? No, you're all right. I've got coffee <laughs> here, thanks. That's good, yeah. Eat that. It's still good, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't smell of anything. Oh, the cork broke. Uh, the cork broke. That's why it doesn't smell. It's still got its contents, is it? Well, it's got some contents in. I'm not sure if it's got <laughs> yeah. the original contents. No, it still doesn't smell. It's been full up with uh, seawater over the years. Still, cool little find. Well, we have another little pipe bowl there, look. Oh, that one came out easily. Only the bowl, but still, it's a nice knobbly pipe. Lovely jubbly. Happy days. I reckon uh, with these pipes, they do tend to get very white very soon. So a few days of being out in the open air, it'll pretty much be the same colour as the rest of it, which is a strange little phenomenon, but yeah, I'll show you that when it's all, um, all dried up, looking lovely. Oh look, some jam. Let's hope we can be jammy today and get some luck in the muck. Flagon, H and C something brewery, wine and spirit importers. Oh, 
here's a cool little find. Oh, look, little gaming jack. Isn't that beautiful? A gaming jack or five knuckles or alley gob. That's a really, really, really beautiful one actually. I haven't found many of these, but the collection's coming on. Well, I just found a really cool pipe bowl. Come and check this out. There he is, look. I just turned him over. And look, I'll reveal it. Look at that gnarly little face. That is awesome. That's one of my best pipe bowls. He's not in great condition. Actually, do you know what? He's not bad. I thought there's a bit of a chip at the back. Obviously, the stem's gone, but how cool is he? Oh man, I'm well happy with that. <laughs> Fair play to Jules. He really does help the newbies. I'll catch up with him later and see what they found. Well, us mudlarkers love to go on the low water mark because that's where less people have gone. However, there's always something to be found by the back wall. Come and take a look. So there we have a little coin. Might be modern, might be old. Might be a ship's halfpenny. There we go, not a ship's halfpenny, 1941. Excellent. George VI. So, finding a few pieces of this, which is the gorgeous Thames type. I absolutely love this, being a graphic designer, I love the fonts, and uh, this one is not going to focus, uh, this one looks to be probably an N, or yeah, an N, I think, oh nice, getting on my way to get a full alphabet, I think I might have a few N's already, Let's see if there's any more around here, uh, and I'll let you know. Oh, I did a little spot to find. Would you have seen that? I think it's quite obvious, really. Nice coin there, look. Just 2p. Oh, the darker side of London. A little bullet there. I'll throw that in the water. Shouldn't take these home, really. You need a license to hold live firearms, live ordnance, so. We'll put that one back in the drink. Another piece of Thames type. H. N and a H so far. Oh look, one for the uh, gem lovers. Probably only a, I don't know, I thought it was an earring at first, but maybe it's part of a brooch. Sorry about the plaster by the way, I cut myself yesterday so I'm just stopping any Thames gunk getting in the cut. Should wear gloves but I love to feel the history in my hands, apart from my thumb. That's pretty though isn't it? Doubt it's precious, probably just made of glass. I wonder who wore that? Got a nice pipe brother. Let's have a look. Sounds good, sounds good. Check out this little rascal. Come on in, let's have a look. Oh, he's fantastic, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, okay. I wonder who he's meant to be. I don't know. I think Marcus or somebody? No, he's too cheeky. Oh, he's amazing. Isn't he cool? He's fantastic, yeah. Oh, I like I, him. I reckon he'll be in my book if he's I look great. him up. Yeah, he's really nice. The book I am referring to is called Prospecting and Collecting Clay Pipes and was written by my old mate John Webb and Alec Childs. And sure enough, there it is. John describes it as a gargoyle head pipe. In undamaged condition, it's rare. John also has a little chart. A means common, B means good, C means very good, D means rare, and E, extremely rare. So I'm happy with my pipe being a rare one, even if it is a bit damaged. But look at that lovely gnarly face. size of that spoon, look. Yeah. 
bigger than my hands. Our next antique <laughs> trowel for size. That's lovely. Which get it? Which get it? Oh wow, that's a real, that's a real it's one. It's proper old, yeah. Cool. I just acquired it in a house clearance. Really? Yeah. So we're even, we're even yeah, he's uh, nice, isn't he? Need to clean up, and get the cement off him, but that'll soon come off. Well, that's part of the charm and character, yeah, isn't it? You know, so nice. you've got to clean out too much. Lovely spoon, eh? It's a lovely spoon. I know. That's the porridge sign. I reckon you should take that, or if you don't want it, I'll no, take, we'll it. take it. I'll yeah. knock it off and see no, if there's a, there might be a little name on it or yeah, something. Yeah, we'll take it. Excellent. Yeah. A wee bit of pipe there, look. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Uh, shame there's not a lot of stem on it, but it's a fair old sized pipe, isn't it? so it's obviously quite a late one. But yeah. Right, so this is an interesting little find, look. First I thought it was just a piece of machinery made of copper, but it's actually made from bone, turned bone or perhaps ivory. I think it might still be part of a sewing machine, you know, like one of those old sewing machines maybe. I don't know. Still pretty cool though. I mean, at the very best, it could be a gaming counter, but no, it's definitely got a, a, a purpose for it, having all those holes, I imagine. Interesting. I like that. It's very pretty. Nice little profile. Oops. That's why I didn't break. <laughs> oh, look, we have another coin. Always like to find coins. It looks like it's probably a Vicky Penny. Oh no, it's a. Another George, George V this time. What date are we talking now? A bit earlier. 90, let's go for 1911. Or 1917. Oh, the midst of the First World War. Probably gutted they lost that. That would have probably bought my loaf of bread or something. The Britannia. It just started to rain as well, which is annoying. Never mind. It's just spitting. Good old British weather. Well, it's spitting, but we're still getting lucky in the mud. Jules has just said, come over here, that's ain't good. Let's run over, see what he's found. I thought we were watching the rain today. I know, me too. At least you've got a jacket on. I've only got my hoodie. Tight there, oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. It's in line with yours. Oh, wow. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you. Let's just have a wash up, Lucky mate. so and so. <laughs> well, no, we've got one each now. We've got a nice pictorial, I presume it's a pipe. Look at him. Uh, uh. <laughs> that's fantastic. I wonder who that's depicting. I don't know, it looks like almost a Marie Antoinette kind of a... Uh... Oh, I don't know, yeah. Stunning. Look at that. Hey? So, if you look at me, mate, she actually looks a bit like you with, your, does it with really your hat really on. Really yeah. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Top fine. That was last night. <laughs> <laughs> well done. It's all right, Yeah, what do you reckon it is? Hey. That's beautiful, mate. Uh, on the, a stunner, on the, While we're sharing fines, what do you reckon that is? Spin it over. I don't know, mate. No, interesting. Is it made out of wood? It's bone. Yeah, yeah. It's bone. Yeah. That's what I, I thought it was I mean, better than. Well, it must be off a game or something. Yeah. You know, yeah. Who knows? That's stunning, isn't it? That's lovely, mate. Yeah. You always come up with good finds, didn't you, Jules? Hey, okay, not bad. Not bad. So back to John's book again, and I suspect that this reference is Jules's pipe. It's described as Grade C, meaning very good on the rarity scale, and is the head of an unknown Edwardian female. I mean, the book was written in 1976, so maybe they found out who it is by now. What's your guess anyway? Leave it in the comments below. Now we all like a nice shard, but this is gotta be a king of the shards. Look at that, beautiful angels or cherubs or children. That's gotta be, that's gotta depict some kind of scene that they're, they're drinking out of a horn, the horn of plenty, and also listening to something. That's a nice shard, isn't it, Jules? Look. Oh yeah, really nice. Yeah, a little couple of cherubs <laughs> messing around. Naughty cherubs. Just like us. Yeah. Now that is a little Victorian clay marble. Just like a stone, but no, it is actually in fact. It is in fact a little clay marble. So how are you finding your first uh, foray into mudlarking then, Vix? Yeah, it's good, I've got a few things. Oh nice, we'll, have, we'll check that out later when it's uh, not so raining, but uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the, the, the oh, chin. Wow. <laughs> well, that looks like an old key. It is an old key, I think. 
I'll take that and I'll tap the rust off later and see what's inside. Maybe I'll do it now. Maybe I'll do it later. At some point though, I'll tap the rust off that and see if it is indeed a key. Might be a nail hiding. Well, it's the big brother to the smaller marble. You can see why. You can see how they stand out. Yeah, we'll get a full set of marbles, I reckon, by the end of the day. <laughs> I think uh, Vix has found a few as well. Who are you calling a cow? Wow, look at that. Old crate there, look. Milk crate or something. J.E. Rowling. I think by the time style of that font i'd probably say it's like 1960s or something that's nice though it's proper stuck in the mud as well that's cool nice antique yeah it will come up i think with a bit of persuasion it's an old like milk crate or oh yeah that's quite nice yeah. j rowling Oh, yeah, hundreds of oh, bottles in it that you nice. collected, Jules. Yeah. Now, quick question, but I think I know the answer to this. Last time we were here, you picked up a load of bricks, right? Yeah. What, have, what have you done with them? They're sitting outside my house. <laughs> <laughs> thought you might be. Yeah, I thought They're I'd know the there. answer to that. Yeah. There you go. A couple of these Daltons there. Look. Bricks. They're nice. But, uh, yeah, it's a project, good. isn't it? Yeah. One of many. Try and get that. That's quite nice. You can have it if you want. If you can get yeah, it out, it's all yours. Yeah, I think. What we should do, we should leave it here, let it all wash out. Yeah, right. Oh, is there a bottle in there? Yeah, it's a can. No, what's that one? It's a can. No, no. It's a can. Oh, can. oh, is it? Okay, sorry, I thought it was there. It's a bottom roast. It's bottom roasted, isn't it? Yeah, it's not good, mate. That's a shame. The top's good and the bottom's gone. Would have been bloody heavy as well, wouldn't it? Afraid. So if anybody did realise that brick didn't say cow, it said cowan, which I knew, but I thought it'd be funny to say cow. You alright? Yeah, I was wondering what that would have been up for. A lamp or something. Pretty, pretty mad. What's it made from? Oh, yeah, brass, no, copper, brass. Or not yeah, it, looks like, it does look like brass. Yeah, it's definitely brass, metal. I thought yeah, it was plastic right. at first, but it's like, yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Your hands are full now, mate. Now, who knows what this is? Anybody? I find bits of these quite often. If you know, comment below. Little mouth organ. Um. Not real. I'll leave that here. Little bottle there trying to hide from me. Yeah, cute little one from the 20s or 30s. A little modern tea light holder. That's quite nice. I think I'll put that, take that and put it outside. Get little snails off first, give it a wash. Brilliant. So here we are, we're back on dry land. Let's see what finds we've had. Right then, Jules. You're starting with me, are you? Is yeah, oh, yeah, we're gonna. First? Oh, okay, we'll go ladies first. Nick, have you had a good day? Yes. Great, good, good, good first mudlock. And I agree, look at those amazing little finds we've had up. Sorry that you've had up. What's your favourite find? Oh, look, you've got beads. Yeah, Buckle. That's nice, isn't it? It's cute. Brilliant. And. This is an amazing little pipe bowl. 
but it's a bit worn away but it's still pretty cool it's similar to one that Jules had I think but um, yeah have been washing around a few tides really cool I like your stoppers There's some hooper strews yeah and little miniature bottles nice little cotton reel broken sadly but cotton reel ink a few 303s have you looked at the bottom of these to see the date no too hard to see too hard to see but never mind and lovely marbles and some coins as well oh is that an old one? Oh, it is as well victoria half penny did you find that or were you giving a little bit of help no, <laughs> that's really cool though it's a lovely little coin great condition 1886 older than my ones is that the oldest coin today then i think it is the oldest yeah. coin yeah cut the fly buttons nice marbles i do like some these beads. beads as well you got obviously you got your beady eye trained already <laughs> i didn't find any beads Fantastic, good little hole. Oh, do you know what that is? That's quite an interesting little thing. Yeah. Don't know what it is. Oh, you know too much already. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Yeah, that's right. When you. I wore a shirt with those the other day. Is it when you <laughs> took them to the laundrette they put them in there for some reason? Sorry. Is it that's when you take? When you wear a paper collar. So ah. they're collarless shirts, and then you've got a hole. Basically, this is how it works. If you want to know. Go on. You've got a hole at the back yeah. that the collar attaches to. Okay, and I think you've got, a, you, you, you use two, you use one to, to pin your collar together at the front, but then it's got to stay on the shirt, so you've got one hole on the back of the shirt usually. Yeah. So you need at least two of those. Okay. Um, but I wore one the other day, and um, to try and get the, the tie to do up was a mission, and trying to get the tie underneath the collar was hard work. Yeah. But it was interesting. Just saying that a Victorian would have taken a long time to get ready in the morning by trying to... <laughs> get one especially with a hangover <laughs> so were you going were you going to a, a ball were you? we went to goodwood revival so oh. if you don't dress up can you send us a picture of that have you oh, just done do, yeah. good yeah. right there you go you're seeing, you're seeing that on screen <laughs> so jules what else have you had so we've had big roll pipe bowl that's a beauty isn't it look at that i wonder who that is i think well, it might be yeah, we'll check the, we'll check the books out and see yeah, if that's we'll it might be Queen Victoria or somebody, might be looking at the side, yeah, side view. Could be. She's got little chubby cheeks yeah, like Queen Vic. Yeah, quite possibly. I'm going to put her in an Indian offering that we just found just for convenience sake. <laughs> Don't normally bother with them, but we will today. Whoops, did sit there quite nicely a minute ago, but anyway, there we go. Um, so we'll go with the largest object, which I do believe is off the lamppost. One of these right. fabulous lampposts that adorn the side of the Thames. Yeah, probably. And if you go and have a look at the top of it, it looks pretty much, in fact, I'd say that is the same. It's exactly the same. It's the finial. The finial of a London, one of these fabulous lampposts. The top of the crown's missing. Anyway. When you see your gas lamppost. Yeah, this is, these were gas lamps, mm. once upon a time. Yeah, They've been converted to electric. That's awesome, isn't it? So and uh, you've got some, yeah, you've got the fleur de lis yeah, fleur de and little, little iron crosses. It's the same as that up there. Actually. Fantastic. Anyway, then this off a balustrade or something, but quite not. I've got a few of these now. They always come from this area. So they might well have been from <clears> when they did some work to so replace the balustrades. And stuff. But these are fairly modern, aren't they? Yeah, probably the old ones that were here. Yeah, the oldest thing then, pottery wise, is this, which is probably from Lambeth High Street, a bit of Delft ware bit of an ointment pot because that's the top lip and rim here mm. the base here so it's half an ointment pot or a third of an ointment pot um, nice little bit of blue under like glazed 18th, blue 18th in there century? it is i'd say it's late 17th century Ooh, how old then? so he's old and he's low you know made mm. here um a bit of slipware always find the odd and bit of that this is interesting we're not sure what this is, but it's a beautiful little piece of. It's got some fantastic colour in it. Glass, but I'm hoping it might be opal. If it is, that's really cool well, and if quite valuable. Knows, let us know. Yeah, if you know, comment below. Is it opal or is it just a piece of very fancy glass? It's got beautiful colours in there. Hmm. That's awesome. There's a little bit, slightly later, later <laughs> little pot, but Victorian. I'll keep that to put my bits of lead type in. There you are. <laughs> Up out of the doll's house. Cute. So crude as well, isn't it? Obviously mass produced, but 
Awesome, so it's survived all these years. Flattened fork, <laughs> Victorian. And your pipes. And a few pipes. Fantastic. There you go. Excellent. Well, onto my bits and bobs. Plenty of coins, mostly modern. A couple of old penny, half penny there. That's from the 40s and that's from 1917. Nice little uh, file there from a chemist. Little uh, Victorian stone marbles. Lovely pieces of pottery, shards, angels, and all sorts of bits and bobs. This, which I kind of think it might be a swan that's got its head tucked inside, but then it could just be a bit of decorative Porcelain. table ornament or something like that. It's a strange one. Never seen anything like it before, but let's hope it's really rare and valuable. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I've been quite jammy today. Tip Tree, it's the best, best jam money can buy that. It it's is. Wilkins and Sons, Tip Tree Essex. I've been jamming with my pipes, four nice pipes there, but the best one is obviously this chap. I'm not sure if he's uh, Turkish or maybe uh, maybe from Japan. Very cool though. Again, I'll see if there's any references to him online. An old key. Oh, and I also found these keys, modern keys. I've got to try and return this to the, uh, the owner, perhaps. <laughs> and also, I've got me a uh, Loads of little lead type, love these. Might be using them to make some printing, some postcards, that sort of thing. And this little mystery item, which I still don't know what it is, made of bone. Maybe, a, maybe part of a sewing machine or something, or a bobbin, something like that. Could be a bobbin, couldn't it? A sewing bobbin. Who knows? This little object had me confused until after cleaning, I noticed a carved thread on the outside, suggesting it was for a lid or something. My friend Monica reminded me that it was probably the lid from a pounce pot. These carved little pots would have contained grounded cuttlefish bone or sand and were then shook over wet ink to help them dry. We're probably thinking it dates to the Georgian period. Well, what a great day, what a great selection of finds and well done Bix for your very first mudlarking session. Good one. Well, mud lovers, back home now, done a bit of a clean up. Unfortunately, a few of those items didn't make it. That's just the nature of some of the items that don't survive the Thames foreshore. It's a harsh environment. Uh, so never mind about that, but we did find some good stuff. And those clay pipes, they absolutely rocked. Um, I've got to say, I love my little gargoyle one. And uh, good old John Webb, he, um, he was the one who wrote about it. So, you know, if it weren't for me old mate, um, raise a toast to John, um, I wouldn't know much about that pipe. Anyway, um, I wasn't too sure about what to do of a little upcycle today, but I thought, you know what? It's a pipe day. We've had some beautiful pipe bowls and I've got plenty of these old stems as well. You see, uh, we find these and I've made bracelets out of them. I've made wind chimes before and other things I've probably forgotten about. Um, and I was thinking, what else can I make with these? Because they're so cool. Um, and, you know, th there must be a load of different opportunities to make things out of these. So I thought long and hard and I thought they're pretty much a ready-made whistle. I mean, they're hollow for a start, so that's a good start. Um, and I think it wouldn't take too much work to make these into a little whistle. I don't think anyone's done that before. So um, I think it's another original idea, I'm, I'm hoping. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna make this into a little uh, little whistle um, and maybe decorate the outside of it if it works. Um, yeah, let's have, let's have another go at a crazy upcycle.
Well, my lovers, I think I've done it. I think I have made the first clay pipe whistle. Uh, I've decorated it as well. Got a little uh, picture of a dog on the side. So uh, yeah, let's give it a blow and see what you think. <laughs> Wicked, eh? How cool is that? It's almost like a dog whistle, it's so loud, but it works. I'm well chuffed. Just goes to show you things you can make from the things we found on the tens. Um, anyway, if you like this adventure, then uh, please click on this thumb now because me and Jules went out a few months ago and had a mega, mega haul. You gotta check that video out if you haven't already seen it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get back out there, I'm gonna go mudlarking, and so until the next mud venture, stay safe, and I'll see you soon, mud lovers.